Okay, we're going to call up uh, Tyler Reddick at this time. Tyler, we appreciate your patience. He's our series runner-up, 2015 NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. Also finished third in tonight's race. That's Tyler Reddick. He's the driver of the number 19 Broken Bow Music Group Ford for BKR. He had two wins this season. He led the season off with an impressive win at Daytona. He also won at Dover. Tyler, congratulations. I know this wasn't the prize you wanted to get, uh, but uh, a heck of a season for you in 2015. Your thoughts at this time? Well, obviously, uh, first off, I, I can't thank my team enough. Uh, Braxelowski Racing did an outstanding job all year long. Um, we've grown so much together these last two years. And uh, this first full-time season, we knew it was going to be a challenge for us, but we started off very well on the right footing. And uh, we just worked together good all year long. Um, it's been really great to have BBR Music Group on board. Um, it's been great working with Seagram Performance Products with Draw Tight and Reese Toe Power and those guys the last two years. Um, I've really enjoyed it a lot. Um, you know, it's been, it's been, it was tasking at times. We, we were definitely really fast at times too. Um, unfortunately, we didn't lead as many laps as the other two competitors and, uh, you know, we didn't uh, win as many races, but uh, we were very consistent. Um, we were proud about that. And just uh, we got to move on to next year, and hopefully we can plug away at it and um, get a championship done for our team. Uh, I know what second place feels like now, and I really don't like it too much. So uh, if I didn't have any, if I didn't have enough reasons to win the championship, I got one more. Well put, Tyler. We'll take a couple questions now for Tyler Reddick. If you have one, raise your hand. Tyler Reddick is up here. We'll go uh, right here with Zach, Bob, and my man from Easton. Yep. Uh, Zach Albert, NASCAR.com. Uh, Tyler, did you have ex expectations coming into the season, and did this first full season meet or exceed what, what you thought you could accomplish this year? We always, going into this year, we were, our standards were set very high. We wanted to win the championship. Um, and obviously, a lot of people, I feel like a lot of people didn't think we were capable of that. Um, we didn't end up being capable of it, as you see, we were runner up. But, um, you know, we were very strong throughout the season. We were always right there. Unfortunately, unfortunately, we were just a little too short there coming into Homestead to really mix it up in the last race. Uh, the, the four had quite a comfortable points gap. So that was a shame, but, you know, uh, I had a couple bad races on my part that um, definitely took us out of the points lead and, and dropped us back there towards the end. So um, just learning and understanding what's what's worth the risk and what's your reward. So uh, we, we picked up on a few things. We definitely got more consistent towards the end of the season. And, uh, you know, we, we never were, we never, not always will be the fastest, but we'd always run clean races and uh, be there at the end to have a shot at winning the races. Unfortunately, that only happened for us twice this year, but um, I feel like if we play our cards right and do the things right like we did uh, all this year, that we'll have shots like that again in the future. Let's go right here to Bob, and then we'll go to Easton. I'm Bob Hockers, ESPN.com. What do you think you would have to do better next year to uh, to win the championship? And do you feel like we should be looking at you as a favorite to win the championship next year? Well, I'll leave that up to you guys if you decide or not. Um, you know, I thought we we did pretty good this year. We were the runner up, obviously. Um, Matt had an outstanding year. He uh, you know wasn't his normal self. He was a lot more um, about wins than consistency. Um, obviously. We had two race. I had two races where I made mistakes that were purely just rookie mistakes. So obviously, New Hampshire was not a good race for our team. And uh, Gateway, we were we were in position to win that race, and I I missed a couple shifts and took us out of that one. Um, There's a couple races there that really took us out of them. Obviously, the road course in uh, New Hampshire were probably some of our two worst finishes. Um, those are the really two races we never were able to really rebound from, and I think those put us behind the most. Right over here to the far right, Tyler. Zach Catan's ready, fun stretch. Um, uh, he had Austin Taylor back in the 29 uh, truck this weekend. What was it like having him back on the team uh, after everything that he's been through? How did that affect your weekend? I was really happy to have him back in the truck. Um, he's a really good friend of mine, and it was a really hard thing to watch what he had to go through. And uh, he's a lot stronger than I ever could be. He proved that already. He, uh, he had to come back through a lot of adversity, and he really wanted to get back in the truck. And... Uh, you know, he went through the process and what it takes to get back in the truck. NASCAR set force for him, and, uh, you know, he didn't have the run he wanted here, um, but he was really good in practice, and he got right back up to speed, which is always great. He proved he's not afraid of it, and the wreck didn't affect high races. So hopefully he has some opportunities next year. Uh, it's a real shame that I kind of 
took that away from him throughout the year. These last couple of races were supposed to be his, and hopefully uh, he has an opportunity with somebody next year to showcase his talent. I definitely have uh, all the faith in the world that he's a, he's a great driver. Any additional questions for Tyler Reddick? Lee has one right there in the middle. <clears throat> hey, Spencer, motorsport.com. How much do you think Daniel Hemrick will help you next season? I mean, it's it's kind of hard to argue with your first full year. You've got an average finish of 6.5 for the season. But, you know, to, to build on that and to have a new full-time teammate, how do you think that that's just going to, you know, play into your championship hopes? I'm probably going to lean on – he's the new driver coming in, but I'm probably going to lean on him a lot more than he will probably lean on me. He's, uh, he's done a lot of asphalt racing. He's a very smart driver. Um, and I definitely look forward to having him on the team. Um, hopefully I can be of help to him in my areas where I seem to get away with things that most people can't somehow. Um, but for the most part, he uh, he's very he's, he knows what's going on in the truck a lot better than I do. Um, I just get lucky and sling it and don't hit anything most of the time. So I think I'm literally looking forward to having him on board. Um, I'm really looking forward to next year. Um, it's going to be great to have Daniel on board, and uh, it'll be interesting to see what, what next year has for us. Well, Tyler, congratulations. You've been a uh, very, very solid competitor this season. You had a very solid year, and I know bigger and better things are ahead. And uh, congratulations on a, on a good season for you. Thank you very much. Thank you.